toxic is good in the paint world. <laughs> it's like the more toxic it is, the better it works. It's crazy how that works, right? Okay, the primer's dry. <laughs> whack a coat on there. Whack a nice wet coat of base art. Looks good. Got coverage. <laughs> on the clear. Done. If it's got that little skull thingy with the, <laughs> the, the bones in it, yeah, that, that's the stuff that's going to get this thing looking right. Colbert speed recovery finish network. All right, it is that time. Um, it's been a couple years since I've done this. We're gonna paint some ATV plastics today, and I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use to get it done. Lots of different methods out there. Some people use this adhesion promoter, some people use this spray paint, this, that. Lots of different methods out there. I'm gonna show you guys what I do um, to get a good finish. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get these set up on some stands. And these are pretty much almost ready to go. We're going to do a little bit of scratching on them, a little bit of prep. We're going to throw some paint in the gun, and we're going to get at it. So our primer's going down really, really smooth, really glossy, nice and wet. Um, I will say this, uh, if you're very comfortable with your primer system, um, we're getting ready to move over into base. I will say if you're very comfortable with your primer system, um, don't feel, feel afraid. If it's a solid color especially, to just go ahead and just whack on that first coat nice and wet with full coverage. Make sure you're using the correct reducer as well. Some guys go really wet on the first coat with uh, too slow of a speed of reducer. And what it does is it actually gives the reducer time to basically eat into the primer um, before it dries. 
Um, and then also don't use too fast of a reducer because that will lead to orange peel and texture in your finish. Orange peel does not always come from the clear coat. Sometimes it actually comes from your primer and it can also come from your base coat, the two layers of paint before the final finish, AKA the clear coat. So keep all that in mind when you're ordering materials and shopping around. Check the weather first, at least a week prior to ordering. Make sure you're getting the right materials. He's one of the best scientific minds we have today. have it how to paint atv plastics pretty simple uh the biggest biggest key is starting with a super clean surface um that's what you want to start with and once you get to that step then you want to go ahead and get your uh your paint solvent any type of really super heavy solvent stripping solvent acetone this is like a general purpose thinner very toxic toxic is good in the paint world <laughs> it's like the more toxic it is the better it works it's crazy how that works right but if it's got that little skull thingy with the the, the bones in it yeah that, that's the stuff that's going to get this thing looking right but anyways but yeah you want a good stripping solvent a really heavy dew solvent wipe those plastics down before you start scuffing then scuff re-wipe with the solvent tack cloth all that good stuff once you get to that point, put you down your adhesion promoter. Pay attention to how your adhesion promoter is going down. If you put your adhesion promoter down and you got like some blotchy spots or it looks like, whoa, that looks like it's reacting. It's got like these fish eyes or it's like separating or whatever. Stop. Do not go to primer. It will not go well for you. Go back to the previous step. Get your solvent. Get your scuff pad. Just go back. Go back a couple steps. Rework all that. Go back to adhesion promoter. If you're putting it down, you don't see any fish eyes or any like reaction spots or anything, then go to primer sealer. You want to make sure you're using a high quality primer when doing plastic, something with some flex. Uh, the SS2790G has built in flex additives, um, a lot of adhesion. It will stick to just about anything. And remember, your primer is your foundation for just about any paint job. Not saying you always need primer. I'm not one of those guys, oh, you didn't prime it, you didn't do it right, it's not going to last, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not saying that. Not every paint job needs primer. But when it comes to raw plastics, you got to have an adhesion promoter and a quality primer as your foundation. As you guys know, with the Speedo Coat base coats, it's one and done. Especially our solid colors, it's one and done. No, we're not two coats and then the drop coat and then we're gonna do it again no 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 we, we're not doing that is one coat i was i'm very confident with this primer i don't have to introduce the base coat to the primer this is one of the this is when you're doing the full speed of coat system i pretty much am very confident to the point where okay the primer's dry <laughs> whack a coat on there whack a nice wet coat of base art looks good got coverage on the clear, 
done. So we got our full coverage in the first coat. That was it. Literally, that was it. We were done. We were moving on to clear. The Glamour Clear, I got to say, this is my third time using this this winter. Zero issues, zero runs, zero reactions, and virtually almost no orange peel. Um, there is imperfections in the paint. Um, these plastics were very rough. They had lots of like little plastic pokey spots and scratches and all kinds of stuff. A lot of those like little imperfections you guys are seeing in the paint is actually in the plastic. There is no dirt in this paint job. I clean the heck out of these. I tack cloth them. I wipe them down twice. Anything, any imperfections that you're seeing in these plastics, it is in the plastics themselves. In the paint, excuse me. Any imperfection seen in the paint is in the plastics themselves. Can't really do much with that unless I was to wet sand the dog crap thing out of these and body, body work and all that stuff. But, you know, sanding a couple feet away. I mean, yeah, if you get up close, like, you can see all the little, you know, stuff like that. But sanding a couple feet away, like, super nice gloss. I mean, really, really nice glossy finish. Super nice. The color looks good. I did tint this just a hair with the Speedico Jet Black and darkened it up just a little bit. But... You know, these, these things came out pretty darn smooth for some beat up old plastics. So for those of you that didn't know how to paint ATV plastics before, well, now you know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. New videos every week.